In this session, we're going to have a look at um, cell referencing within um, Excel and specifically naming cells and ranges. So bear with me while I share my screen with you. OK, I've got a, a file here, which is our six monthly sales total for different departments within my organisation. OK, so from previous um, videos, we can know very quickly how to um, put in the totals in row 14. OK, so those of you that use the auto sum, OK, you're just going to click on the auto sum and select the option for sum, and it's going to fill it out for you um, automatically. Or if you're like me, you're just going to type in equal sum, open brackets and click and drag over the range for department A. OK, remember, we can use the full handle, the bottom right hand side of the cell with a skinny black cross and click and drag across. OK, likewise, we can put the total for each of hardware, software, training, etc. OK, so again, equals the sum, open brackets, click and drag over the range. OK, and enter. Or again, for those of you that are using the auto sum, OK, again, when you click on auto sum, Oops, I beg your pardon, I forgot to delete that out so it won't work. When you click on auto sum, OK, Excel um, instinctively knows that you want to this time, OK, um, add up row 10, OK, from C10 to F10. OK, so again, just hit your enter key. OK, let me do that one for you again because I did have a value in there when I started it. OK, so again, when you click on the auto sum, OK, it will populate it for you correctly. So once again, you can use the full handle and you can drag down. OK, so what we want to look at this time is we want to now work out if we were getting a 20 percent bonus on each of these totals for each of the departments. OK, so the calculation is just a straightforward. We would say equals cell C14, which is our 5400 times the value in the cell with the bonus at 20 percent. OK, so C14 times E18. So that's fine when we enter that in. What happens when we drag it across? OK, you can see that Department A is getting a bonus, but Departments B, C and D aren't. OK, so let's have a look to see what's happening. OK, well, let's go back up to the total line. So when we were using um, the full handle, um, when we were adding um, the, the, the values in each of the columns, we see there that in cell C14, the total for department A is the sum of C10 to C13, which is right, hardware through to accessories. When we dragged using the full handle into department B, OK, Excel knew instinctively that we now wanted to add up the, the, the values in column D, D10 to D13, likewise with department C, E10 to E13, and again in column F, F10 to F13. Excel is using relative cell addressing here. OK, so what happens is when you copy the formula and um, it changes automatically relative to its new location. OK, so similarly, when we were in column G, we started off in G10 and it was adding C10 to F10. But when we copied it down a row, Excel instinctively knew that the um, cell references or was making an assumption, OK, that the cell references now need to change to C11 to F11. And then similarly, C C12 to F12 and so on. OK, so that's using what we call relative cell addressing. OK, changing the formula relative to the new location. So let's have a look to see what's happening here. So we said to work out the bonus, it was going to be Department A's total, OK, C14 times the value in E18, which is 20%. When we click into column D, we can see that we're now OK, saying, yep, we want to um, multiply uh, column uh, department B's total, OK, in D14, because we've moved across and along um, over into the next column. But look what's happening. OK, Excel now wants to um, multiply by a value in a cell F18, which is empty. Similarly, we copied it across again. OK, into column E, and Excel instinctively knows, OK, that it's the total figure, E14. But look, it now wants to multiply it by the cell G14. Excel doesn't know that we don't want to use relative cell addressing, OK, and change the, the, the cell referencing automatically. Excel doesn't know that we want to multiply everything, OK, by the cell 
um, E18 with the 20% in it. Two different things we can do. Okay, we can go back into the first formula. We can go up to the formula bar. Okay, click into E18 and we can hit our F4 key. Okay, so that's one of the function keys, F4. Look what it's done. It's put a dollar in front of the column and a dollar in front of the row. Okay, when I enter that in, okay, click back on it, you'll be able to see the formula. This time we're saying C14 times dollar E, dollar 18. The dollars have made this cell, okay, reference, um, an absolute cell reference, meaning if I copy it anywhere else, it will always stay the same. So we want everything to be multiplied, okay, by the value in the cell E18. So let's drag it across with the full handle this time and see what happens. Okay, so department A, C14, the total times the 20% in E18. When we copy across into column D, department B's figure is the total in D4 times the value that's in E18. Similarly, department C is the value of the total in E14 times the value in the cell E18. And lastly, the same applies for column F for department D. OK, that's one way of making a cell um, reference an absolute. What we can also do is we can name the cell. OK, so I can come up into the cell E18. And remember, we spoke earlier, OK, that in here was called the name box. OK, so I can click in there and I can call it bonus. OK, so I'm just overwriting the fact that it said E18 within the name box and I've just called it bonus. You must hit your enter key. OK, if you click out of that name box with your mouse, then you're not renaming the cell. OK, you must hit your enter key. Other things you need to watch. OK, if you are starting to use things like WK1 for week one. OK, WK1 is actually a cell reference and Excel will jump you to that particular cell rather than rename a, an existing cell. So you would need to say week one. No spaces. OK. If you want to have an indication where there would be a space, just use your underscore, okay, or just run everything together to say week one, okay. So just be careful about things like that, okay. So when I hit my enter key, you can see now that that cell is now named bonus. So when I delete these out and use the same principle for the formula, it's the total in C14 times the 20% bonus. This time you can see the formula says C14 times bonus. OK, and again, when I drag that across, each of the cells are being multiplied by the cell called bonus. OK, it's preference, um, personal preference. I prefer to name the cells, um, but you can use the F4 key also. OK, so let's go back and do that again with the F4 key. If I want to um, change um, the name of a, a, a cell OK, or delete it, I go into formulas. I go to name manager and I can edit or I can delete. OK, so I'm going to remove the fact that I've called that cell bonus. OK. So to use the F4 key again, just to work through that principle one more time, it would be C14 times E18. I would go up to the formula bar, hit my F4 key, make sure I've got a dollar in front of the, the row heading and the column heading. When I enter that in, I can then now drag that across. OK, so bonus in total is pretty straightforward. It's just going to be the total plus the bonus. And again, I can drag that across. OK, one last thing that we're going to have a look at, which again is, is about naming cells and using absolute cell referencing. If I wanted to know what the percentage of hardware's total was as a, to a, sorry, as a percentage of the grand total of 21,900, calculation would simply be equals G10 divided by G14. OK. I've already used this exercise before. Sorry, um, everyone. So it's already defaulted to percentage. OK, you would have to do that subsequently. So I'll show you um, again how we would do that once I've got all of the values populated. So what happens when we drag it down? OK, we're getting an error message. OK, so we're saying software. It's saying dividing by zero. Training dividing by zero and accessories dividing by zero. Why has that happened? OK, look again. The first um, formula said G10 divided by 
G14, which is correct. When we dragged it down, OK, look what's happened. It's saying G11, which is perfectly correct, but it now wants to divide it by G15. OK, again, Excel doesn't know that the 21,900 or the, the cell reference G14 needs to be an absolute cell reference. So as I say, I prefer to name cells. So I would click in G14, click into the name box, and I'm just going to call it total. And then I would come back into here and I would just say equals G10 divided by total. And again, I can drag that down. If you want to, um, to confirm, the last one will always be 100%. OK, so if you're not sure when you're doing that calculation, which way you were doing the dividing, was it G10 divided by G14 or was it G14 divided by G10? If you've done it the wrong way around, then you will not get 100% in here. OK, so it's always a good way to, to check. OK, so I can delete that out, so I don't need it. OK, so because I'd already formatted these cells for percentage, OK, that won't happen automatically. You would need to go into the Home tab and you would just click on the percentage icon. OK, and then that would put that in um, the values that you get in there when you do this calculation initially. And um, it would automatically um, put it into the percentages, which is showing in my example. OK, so two different ways of setting up something um, as an absolute cell reference. OK, either use the F4 key or come into the name box over here and rename the cell. OK, we'll make it an absolute cell reference, which means regardless of where you copy that formula to, that cell reference will not change. Thank you.